Hello everybody, JT here. First video of Lay program in Gip Games. Uh, just to let you know, I am not a Lay guy. I have never done any program or run the machine using Gip Cam uh, Lay. Okay, in Lay machine using Gip Cam. Just to clarify a little bit. <laughs> Uh, I did run, I did run the Milton before a few months, roughly uh, like a year on and off. Um, the Willerman machine, but it was, I was using the Spree software instead of Gipcam because that's what they have. Uh, so my knowledge, uh, light work in Gipcam is not a whole lot. But I believe, I think the concept is, you know, much the same. So if you uh, understand how machine work, and then you should be able to, you know, do some simple, easy stuff. Like this video here, I will uh, show you how to set it up, how to uh, make simple program face, the face off here. And then turn and then fin it, you know, rough this one out and fin it. So, uh, if uh, you already, you know, experience, you know, never mind, you know. But if you still watch my video, that would be, you know, awesome. <laughs> um, anyway, just uh, let's say here. All right, so if... At first, when you import the model in, if it doesn't sit like this, does it sit correctly? And then you have to rotate. Like this part is due to be like this. When I import it in, it's like this, right? So, which is not really, uh, you know, it doesn't look right. So, you should line up where it should be. Okay, uh, then, okay, I want to show this one first. Let's talk about this one first before we move this. So in here, at first, be even before you import the model, right? you should select your machine. If it's generic, this one is generic, right? But they have vertical, they have horizontal, and if you have a machine with the MDD and if you already copy that MDD over to the, you know, Gipcam MDD folder, it should show up in here and then you just pick it up, pick that machine, okay? And then after that, you import this model in, and then you should rotate it back, let's see, okay? So it's something like that. In Layworld, when you program it, you can see in Gipcam here, Z this way, right? So Z plus over here, Z minus over here, X plus here, X minus here. So this is just simple, easy to access, right? Okay, so make sure you line up your model accordingly to your machine, okay? And make sure you check it. Okay, so here's the setup. So after you select MDD or your machine, and this uh, model here, two inches, okay. Swing rabbit should be two inches, okay. Minus, okay. What it is? I don't think I. Sh okay. So this is. I think this is when you do like a sub spindle or something like that. But this one is fairly easy, simple. So uh, you should detect that one off. Okay, first is the Z length for this part is this much, right? And then this is the diameter, okay? So in here you select meal class, select none, swing one. Don't think this is matter much, but this is important. So you want to do diameter because your tool gonna go here, it rotate at the, you know, like 
it only go half to like z0 or i mean x0 i would say that the center of this part here so it should be diameter right and this is important this is where your two finite when it finite it come out and it change the two uh auto clearance i mean maybe your mdd can you know have this and it automatically go to harm and chain or something like that but if not and if you just use like a generic one you should set this one up because you don't want to set up this one too small otherwise it will crash into your part right so you want to do move somewhere out here chain the two and move back and then and then and, uh, uh, make the part right so i think that is important to know okay next one is uh, so you how to set up the tool all right so uh, when you click on here you will have a whole bunch of style in here so you select this just the insert okay i don't i don't think i have any 3d holder or anything but make sure you select the right one okay so whatever your insert you should you know you bought the insert and you should have those information and fill this one out okay okay and the turrets look like it and you can see the yellow uh, insert here that's where you need to know and make sure you set up right if your machine like this but if you set up on this side that's mean it's strong right so you make sure you select it the right way the right one okay and then as you can see this one it all straight down you want to have like a relief angle or something like that so i don't know you usually a five three something like that depend on your insert okay and the next one you fill this one out so my radius is 132 this radius in here Okay, let's see, yeah. That's right there, 132, so I put 132. You can, everything else here, you have to measure your two holder and then insert and then put it in here. I, uh, I'll just leave it at, at ease now because, you know, every machine, every insert every holder different so i can't really uh, do anything but just leave it there for right and then offset of course this is important here if you set up the turret number one and you put here number one two number one and offset number one but let's say if you put in the turret number five right but even you put in here number one and then you have to put here number five the same concept with the meal uh, two two <coughs> so sometimes even you set up two number one but you want to use the two land offset in the machine different and you should put but that's you know a little bit more confused so i usually suggest you put the same two number one offset number one and in the machine, you put exactly that same tool in tool number one in the machine. Okay. So let's do that the rough tool. And then the finish tool. Uh, let's do a different one. Same thing. Let's do five degree here. Uh, radius 132. Everything else the same. All right. So let's just do two two to rough it out the face, rough and then thin it. I will not do the groove here though because you know uh, that's maybe for another video. All right, so uh, geometry. Okay, the next thing after you set up two, then you need to pull out some geometry. Sometimes you can uh, just if the whole geometry you can do a face meal too but uh, let's make it simple easy to understand now so i'll just do this so i just drag the geometry from part to the center right the other geometry just contour here 
Okay. So after you got the geometry, you know, pull the two out. Okay, so this is just a line. So we are going to use contour instead of rough. Contour, forward, of course, and give some lead in and lead out. Okay. So if your machine is 5,000 RPM, right? And if you put here 2,000, that means your program, when it cut this, it can go up to 2,000, not 5,000 because of the machine. But this is your limit. You limit the RPM when you make it cut to 2,000, all right? So if it fails, maybe 500, 10, 10, I think that's good enough, okay? Yeah. Okay, so this one is going to fill out accordingly to this. So, I think that should be it. Okay, we want to leave Z a little bit. Okay, and it should be like that. See, fine, I think a little bit too much because do four. There you go. Uh, usually, I think this is because I delete this and then I re make the uh, two pass. That's why. But usually, look for this number and it should fill out in here automatically. So that is your face rough, and then you leave a ten thousand here. For the Z to finish, right? Well, I don't think that is right. Okay, it's not OD. Okay, so it should be face. Okay, okay. There you go. Okay, so that should be where it is, and and you can see it when it move the two, it come all the way out here and fit. I mean, wrap it, hoop in here, and then cut, and then. Fit out and then go out. Uh, like I say, I'm not very good with lay, but I mean, it should be the same. The concept should be the same. So that the fay next one we do rough. Okay, next do rough, and now we select the rough. We select OD forward, step down 1000, same thing here, everything the same. Okay. okay, if if you have stop, okay, if let's say it is this is two inches, right? But if you have let's say two and a quarter your stop, then you should put in here. Okay. If say let's say if you have two and a half, you should put in here. Whatever your stop size you should put in here. Okay, full, okay, you want to leave X and Z, so when you finish the two, it cut clean, right? Everything else should be like that. And select outside, do it. Okay. Okay, let's render, and you can see. Slow, slow. Go in. Too slow. Okay. okay, it doesn't cut here, and then I forgot this. So in document, okay, let's say if you have two and a quarter diameter stock, right, and then you cut, but of course it's not going to be exactly Z, I mean X0 exactly be right here, so you want to have some a little bit of material out here so it clean out right this is where you should put it in i don't know fifty thousand something like that and re-render it you can see so it will cut it leave ten thousand rub it out and this one also gives some material to you know x and g too Okay, so this one I don't, I, like I said, I don't 
do this groove here so i want to fix it i don't want the two go in here and go up so how do you fix that and you can see the two paths go that go down here and then go up and go out so if i can if we can say oh yeah okay cut direction okay so you don't want cut on the minus x right so you uncheck that and redo it that should fix it and again so you can see okay there you go let's look better okay so now the finish one we you go, we are going to use contour but to number two drag it down forward this one id not fun face and we can leave that one this one may be a little bit slower so we can finish it and cost you know uh, we run a little bit faster we want to take it to zero every turn zero and then click do it no oops not a geometry okay as you can see let's go down dive down there so we need to fix that by uncheck that there you go Fina two come out okay yeah because I don't draw the stock here so that's why you don't see it cut here but if you draw stock and you make a three D model you will see it cut but you can see the two paths right here cut all the way out and I think that should be it for this video I mean I have never done uh, you know lay program or run like using gear cam but this one is i think it easy very basic so uh, hopefully you uh, watch this and then you learn something if you are new um, but it's you know it should like it should work a little bit different than meal and i think the important thing is set up the two right set up the document here correctly select mdd if you have mdd for your machine you use generic and then you know should be pick up one of the mdd in here pick up the machine in here and you and then extract geometry out and you know just work it from there i think the only thing i fix for the geometry is just this face because you want to draw I mean, with this one, I draw from here, right? But if you have a stock, like I said, if you have a stock with you, you should draw the geometry up here a little bit. Right here on the act instead of this point right here, it should be up, you know, 200, 250, something like that. Just clear, and so you, the two, it doesn't hit the stock when it first started. Uh... All right, I think that I will be uh, concluded for this video. And then, uh, if you have question, if you have comment, feel free to comment down there. Like I say, I don't have a lot of experience in light work. Uh, so if something I did wrong here, you can comment down there and let me know so I can learn it too. Uh, see you guys next time and goodbye for now.